An introduction to sensory gardens. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm Tom Cole, I'm Head of Horticulture at Cape Manor College. And you join me in what we'd like to call our sensory garden. A garden that has some key features. Plants that you can touch and feel and therefore get an idea about their foliage. And also that releases fragrance from their leaves or stems. Or even you can smell, there's wonderful flowers that are open as well. Designing a multi-sensory experience can be hugely beneficial for the visually impaired. Basing the garden around a trail can help the blind to gain confidence in their movements, learning to interpret sensory experiences that help them find their way. Sensory garden design can be unusual. For example, trees may be planted pathside to be touched rather than set back in a bed as usual. And what a lovely sound that is. You've got water cascading down from a cave-like structure onto a hermit, and then the water recirculated around the whole of this sensory garden. Softening that area, you have these wonderful ferns, shuttlecock ferns, and that really gives you a great sort of tactile experience. So we've got sound from the water, we've got the feeling of foliage. Other areas, you have plants which take on other sort of key benefits. This bamboo here, evergreen, very underrated, um, clump forming, creates sound as the wind moves through it. So you can imagine that in sort of the height of a windier time of the year when you get some, a real sense of movement and, and other forms of sound coming through. As well as plants creating movement and sound in a sensory garden like this, your banker plants are really going to be made up of those fragrant, sweetly smelling plants, such as all your herbal ones. We've got catmint, you've got that next to rosemary. In between those, you've got lavender creeping across the ground. These are all key plants in a garden like this because they give scent for most of the growing season and in fact enable you to touch them and you get that fragrance being released as well. A sensory garden like this must have good surfaces to tie all the areas together. We've used a simple raised pavia block and also we have this steel plate to break up that monotony but also to indicate where water features are within the garden. An overhanging pathways such as this one, you've got this wonderful butterfly bush, Buddleia davidii, very very fragrant, very very heady and gives you good summer colour right the way through to the frosts. We have a lovely flat expanse of water, simply raised from the ground, with water trickling over slabs, great reflective qualities. What you need for a sensory garden is movement, and that could be in the form of water, it could be through wind moving through plants. You need fragrance, and there's a whole host of those here. And you need sound, created by wind moving through plants like the bamboo, or even now you can hear the water as it trickles on by.